Lark Bar, Julian Assange is a hero. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Julian Assange is, you know, I, I was, I meant to actually find this clip. The Elder God challenged to you. There is a Muhammad Ali documentary or anyone else, right? There's multiple Muhammad Ali documentaries. I've watched, I don't know, I think four of them. Or three of three, four of them, four of them. I teach math. <laughs> I think I've watched three um, Muhammad Ali documentaries. There's got to be like four or five or more, right? But in the last 20 years, there's three that I watched. One, I think all three, three that no, I watched earlier too. But there's three that came out in the 2000s, I think maybe. It was weird. There's like two, three Muhammad Ali documentaries that came out and I can't remember which uh, which documentary this scene was in right but it's the uh, lonely piggy thank you very much for the prime uh, sub appreciate it salute salute with coffee okay but in the documentary there the there's an interview with a really old guy a really old black guy not really old right I'm getting up there too right but an old black guy, he, this guy's seen life, right? Rugged, right? He's like a tall, he feels like a taller, skinnier black guy. And he's sitting there going like this. And they ask him, who is Muhammad Ali? And he goes, Muhammad Ali is a prophet. Muhammad Ali is a prophet. And he turns to the camera and goes, what else would you call him, right? He's a truth teller. And that's what prophets are. So to me, Julian Assange is a prophet, okay? And as I mentioned before, Julian Assange is the perfect example of the murder of Christ, which is what Wilhelm Reich, Robert Anton Wilson have talked about, right? Which is basically the state taking a truth teller, right? And crucifying them, right? If you extrapolate this whole concept of, you know, because we're coming out of Easter too, it's a time where you reflect on what Easter represents, what Christianity represents, what religion represents, and all this jazz. You have. If you're lucky, you get into discussions with people about religion and humanity and history and what it all means, right? If you're lucky, right? A lot of people say, no talking about politics or religion in our household. Well, they're idiots, right? Because their lives is political, right? Life is political, right? So if you're lucky, you get into these discussions. And if you extrapolate what the some people say the story of Jesus Christ is, the crucifying of Jesus Christ, some people would say the mythology of the crucifixion, crucifying Jesus Christ, if you extrapolate what that story is, that is identical to what the state is doing to Julian Assange, right? He was a truth teller. He was revealing the truth to the people, speaking to the people directly, saying, pointing out to the people who the bad guys are, right? Who is keeping them enslaved? And that central power crucifying Julian Assange in this case, right? In front of everyone and the masses and 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 the, and the dumbass masses, right? Throwing stones. I've I've known some of them throwing stones at a prophet right why because they associated him with Russiagate Putin bad right on fucking believable there's a direct direct relationship correlation same story replace the crucifying of Jesus Christ with crucifying of Julian Assange you will see parallels like you've never seen him before or didn't recognize it before unbelievable we're living through historic times right and i have no idea if these conversations will see the light of day a hundred years from now 200 days from now uh 200 years from now a thousand years from now right but if anybody that looks back through this period they would call julian assange a prophet in the fucking story Right? And all those people that threw the stones at this prophet, well, we know how they stand in history, right? Unbelievable. Crazy times, crazy times. <laughs>